You need to have one-to-one -one meetings with your team. Do them right and they build trust and respect, help you understand your people and give you an opportunity to test your ideas. They're the most important part of leadership communication. And doing them right comes down to asking just four questions. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through them. They're the perfect one-to-one -one framework that's included in my Leadership Expert Pack PDF. It gives you three ways to be a better leader, which is what I'm all about here at Leadership Jetway. Question one of that framework is, how are you? Simple start, but you have to really mean it and really listen to the answer. Most of the time you'll get a quick, I'm fine, and you'll move on. But every now and then, if you're paying attention, you'll get a clue that you should stay on this question for a while, something in their tone of voice, or maybe they'll just come right out and tell you they're feeling down or stuck or something's going on. And sometimes you stay on this question for the whole conversation. Simply asking, how are you, at the start of any one-to-one -one meeting with your team, builds empathy and understanding, reminds you that your team are human beings and reminds them that you are too. Next, how are things going? Sometimes this question just follows on from how are you? You stick with personal issues of morale, home, work-life balance and so on. But often this is where you get to check in with key projects the person's working on, their priority tasks and responsibilities. Pay attention and ask well-chosen follow-ups to make sure you understand their difficulties and shape their alignment with your priorities as a team leader. Number three, what are you gonna do next? Sometimes when you ask how things are going, you end up talking about problems, things your colleague is finding difficult. And it's really common for a manager or team leader to go into fix it mode, either saying, ah, yes, this is what you do, or worse, saying something like, leave that with me, I'll handle it. Now, I'm not saying you should never do those things. Sometimes you absolutely should give advice. Sometimes it is your problem to solve. But in general, if someone brings a big hairy monkey on their back into the meeting, don't let them leave the monkey on your desk. Make sure they take it back out with them. The best way to do that is to help them talk through ways they might deal with the monkey themselves. Who could they talk to? What processes could they use? How could they change something about the way they're looking at the situation? What are some options for next steps? This question is an opportunity for you to help your team learn how to solve their own problems. And only when you've spent some time doing this should you ask question four, which is, is there anything I can do to help? Ideally, if you've done question three right, the answer will be no. Got it, thanks. But sometimes you will need to do something, talk to your boss or take a decision or explain the wider situation to the whole team. Things that are better or more appropriate coming from you as the team leader. So ask the question, show some willingness to help. It's a great way to let your team know that you've got their back. And that's it, four questions that make up a perfect one-to-one -one meeting. And the biggest thing is, it's all predicated on listening to your people finding out how they are, how their things are going, what they think they should do next. And of course, you should be throwing in extra follow-up questions and actually talking about things with them. You don't just use exactly these four questions and be done with it and say nothing else, but they provide a framework for a great conversation that's easy to remember and has real impact on relationships, trust and respect. It's in the expert pack, along with two other specific tools to help you be a great leader Details are all in the description. Make sure you go and grab it. And then watch this video next for crucial tips on body language and tone of voice during the one-to-one -one meetings using the 73855 rule. I will see you over there.